Guys, it's currently 5:35 a.m. I believe, and um, I'm here in Kyoto. I'm gonna go out for a day of portrait photography, so I'm gonna take you guys along. I'm going to go out with my friend Will and Miyu, who will be modeling for today, and it'll be super fun. But I'm just a bit early. I'm actually like an hour early for the meetup time at 6:30, so I'm gonna get some food at the convenience store, get some coffee in my system, so I'm wide awake. But yeah, I'll see you guys shortly. So just got some food and yeah, I'm gonna fuel up and head out to shoot. But in Japan, the convenience store foods are amazing. So if you're ever here, make sure you check it out because it's nothing, nothing like anywhere else in the world, literally. Um, yeah, it's, it's like $3.50 for this. Amazing. So I just met up with the Sleeping Beauties. <laughs> <laughs> um, walking towards Ninenzaka, which is the famous Every time I film, I bet there's like, there's always that car that distracts my audio. But um, <laughs> we're going to the Ninenzaka to shoot the, what is it called? Like the Pagoda thing um, with the street. Yeah, I'm Japanese, but I don't know anything about. Yeah, but like, what is it called? Like, that's like the name of it, right? Like, is it yeah. like Pagoda, right? Yeah. It's a Pagoda, yeah. Because um, sunrise, I mean, first light, it's already sunrise, pretty much. But yeah, we're going to shoot that and start the day from there. Just made it to the Ninenzaka and there's actually no one here except for those people down there. But it's really nice. I don't know, I think they're filming something. But we are too, so it's okay, right? <laughs> uh, didn't do the introduction properly. This is me and Hi. this is <laughs> this is Will. Yo. Yeah. Actually, try it here. So, just finished up wrapping the Ninenzaka shoot. It kind of went roughly in the beginning because there was people shooting apparently a movie, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, it went pretty well and got the first light. So we're heading to the next location, which Will found last night out of the blue on Google. So we'll see how it, that does or how it is. It was, Hopefully it's red. It was in the top 10 uh, best locations in Kyoto. So it has to be good. So he searched top 10 locations in yeah. Kyoto <laughs> and just went for it. So hopefully, yeah, that does. It has some red autumn leaves and we can get something decent but if not we'll skip it we'll see how it is <sighs> morning how was it now i was dreaming oh, yeah. so just made it to the second spot of the day and yes autumn red leaves everywhere
So we just wrapped up this place, um, got some a lot of good photos, but we're gonna go to Koetsuji, which is up north from Kyoto's main city area. We actually found photos of Tina posting about the spot. It's pretty nice. It's like a leading line straight to like a temple, and these uh, autumn leaves are like carving towards, like arching inwards. So we're gonna go there now. But it's midday, almost 11 and the harsh light as you can see behind me is pretty much too harsh to be able to do anything in terms of like photos and videos so we're gonna take a quick break get some lunch and head there right now we're on the bus uh, we actually decided not to go to the Tina's uh, spot because it's kind of in the way and it's only for that one spot so we're going to Arashino temple which is the bamboo forest not the main one but the one with the stairs you'll see it soon but we're gonna knock that out of the way and then head up north it'll be like a I don't know five to ten minute walk and there's another temple which has all the autumn leaves there so we'll have like we'll kill two birds with one stone So just made it to the Arashino temple. It's actually called Arashino Nembutsuji temple. Very long name, but it's all red as well. And behind that is actually the bamboo forest. And we're headed there right now. Is it there? I think it's up here. Okay. I think, I don't know. There's not any oh, other way. Super pretty up here. As yeah, well. let's just try. Yeah. yeah. So just made it in. I think this is a spot because it's on the way and it, cost 500 yen so if not it's still not bad because it's red so it is actually here so the 500 yen is worth it it's right here and you can see the staircase that leads up and it's pretty aesthetic so just try the bamboo forest it's a bit dark I think you guys should come here midday so the light is actually coming through the bamboo forest but it's not too bad but we found this really cool spot near it which looks like this and the lighting's really looking nice so we're gonna prioritize lighting over anything because we'll get the better shots just finished the bamboo forest area um, the temple but we won't make it to the next temple because the lights gone um, the sun sets really fast during the colder days like autumn and so we decided to go and head back get some food hopefully we'll get maybe one blue hour shot but other than that I think it's a wrap We're gonna go up the hill to Kiyomi's Dera, which is the most famous landscape spot, I believe, which can overlook Kyoto. So hopefully that works out well, and we're gonna call it a day there. So just made it to the top but we decided not to go all the way in for the landscape shot because it's actually under construction right now it's been that way for two years i believe so not really worth it for at least myself because i've been here so many times but if it's the first time for you guys definitely go because it's worth it um but i'll show you guys kind of roughly the view 
of what you can what to expect from up here so I'll show you that in a minute. 